Billy Elish is looking green as green can be. Wow. So I I don't really know much about Billy Elish. She's completely been sucked away by the power of Ozempic. You know, another person that's been talking about Ozempic a lot is Annie Lederman. You know, I went to Annie Lederman's uh fucking Instagram. Oh, she's really hopping on board with the jokes. Okay, she's making uh disgusting Ozempic jokes. It's not a good look. Okay. Really, you know, bashing somebody's uh, quality of life with, like, you know, making awareness to, you know, a drug that could probably keep them from fucking... Bang, mm -hmm. Whoa! I'm just kidding. But uh, here it is right here. Here's Annie Lederman. She's, uh... Oh, my God. Look what Annie's hanging out with. I haven't seen this kid since last summer. How do I restart this? Oh! <laughs> Who's this guy? Look at this guy. To say my sorries in private. Okay, so here's Annie. Go back to Annie. Annie. Okay, so Annie's hanging out with Jason Marzukis or some type of fucking um, version of him. This is uh, the kid from Stranger Things that I guess is getting his clothes ripped off. I don't know how old this kid is. He doesn't look like... He looks like a fucked up version of my little brother. Spread the word. Okay. But I'm actually uh, really disgusted by this kid. I think he needs to stop lying and show us, like, you know, your face without the teeth again. I miss it. Having the time. Like, they love me. They nope, nope, no more. So I guess he was at a show. You know, he's got to be at least eight years old. It kind of reminds me of that freak kid that everybody was obsessed with that's about smaller than him but had the same afro, a munchkin. And they toted him around like, you know, a joke. But it looks like Annie Lederman's involved with, uh, you know, the, you know, she was uh, providing liquor to this kid probably. Makes me sick. Oh, yeah. Here's the joke right here. Get ready, folks. Um, you're wondering. I, I got to restart Happy that. Earth Day! No, no, restart. Fuck! Oh, my pants don't fit anymore. It's so zempic. Um, you're wondering. I still got these. This has been happening. I'm not going to lie. I've been rocking this. Okay, so Annie Lederman comes in hot. Talking about how you know Ozempic is you know one of the you know, the, the you know one of them things. Okay, but uh, she's taking it right now. This is her new. Uh, she's doing a lot of new working the crowd. I guess you would call it working out new jokes. She's on the Ozempic route. She got herself a humongous pair of jeans that probably fit her about one day ago. Forty-five different shots later, she's high as fuck on that weight loss, losing her mind. Her panties. She starts to expose that. It's really disgusting. Look, since I was fourteen years old. <laughs> I've been rocking this look <laughs> since I was 14 years old. By the way, this is a mistake, but I'm... Okay, cool. Hilarious. Uh, she also talks about Ozempic somewhere else. Um, probably here. What's your job? Oh, you're a personal trainer? Okay, that's cool. Sorry about Ozempic. Uh... Okay. Good stuff. What the fuck was I watching? Oh, yeah, Billy Elish. I was really hoping that it could be you. Him. I actually need to freshen up a bit. <sighs> Something from Harry Potter, probably. When a British person pulls out anything, I'm like, that's the dust or the smell of Hogwarts or something. You know, the whole country, you know, has really been taken over by the power of J.K. Rowling. You know, how many times people walk into a restaurant as a joke, people be taking toilet paper, doing dookie fucking writing on there. People are like, they're thinking it's the next Harry Potter book. Doesn't look. You know, because Harry Potter was ri written on some dookie paper. Somebody found it like, what is this uh, thing? And then they, they smelled, you know, where the smell came from. It was J.K. Rowling's underwear, just, her diaper. Is this turning you on right now? And that's how she got famous. That's how they were like, give us more of this story. Just not written in shit. Like, uh, I'm wearing a Yeah. Yeah. It's quite how it's it's backwards. backwards. Oh, sorry. Is this you? No. It's you. No, my boobs aren't that big. They're pretty small. Yeah, they are. They're nice. Well, they're sorry, my boobs aren't that big. Yeah, track mark. Look at this track mark right here. No. It's you. No, my boobs aren't that big. Right there. What is this? How do you get a bruise right there? Not big. They're pretty small. Yeah, they are. They're nice. Well, they're, well I actually, I like them. I actually, I'm happy. I like them too. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't even been looking at the goddamn fucking chat. Where the hell's Rich Lux? Oh, he's there. Hello? Is smell a big thing for you? Kind of number one. <gasps> really? Obviously, personality, right? 
and and God. I haven't seen somebody wear uh, DVS, or no, that's not DVS, that's Osiris in a damn long time. What are you doing? <laughs> I haven't, you know, it's been so long, and like, sometimes people try really hard to, you know, bring their company back by paying these ultra richoids, okay, some money, to like wear their stuff and bring it back in style. They did the same thing with Stada. You remember Starter? Okay, they brought it back. Rude actually got involved with Starter, R-H-U-D-E. It's a, it's a clothing brand. I have a pair of Rude shorts. That's where I leave it, okay? They got nets in it. I'm not into netty, netted fucking shorts, okay? When I get a pair of running shorts, I snip out that shit. I take it out, flick it away. I don't need all that crap. Kind of number one. Oh, really? Obviously, personality, right? Oh, and, and God, overrated. Right. What about smell? Mm. I can get around it. But I'm definitely like, that's the first thing that I notice. And I have a very like strong nose. Mm. So mm. if somebody smells good, I like them more. I think better smell. Wow, you'll love me. She'll we'll be married. Now, is she gay or is she straight? Look at this menu. It's a liar's menu. None of this stuff is even available. What the fuck is this brand? It's not even Pepsi. What is this? XXX? What turns me on? I don't know, passion, dude. Ooh. That's uh, Janek says, is she even 21 yet? She looks in the late 40s. She could be. I mean, that's the eyes of a 40-year-old um, set of eyes. I don't know what to say. I mean, she is young. I think she... Doesn't she, like, kiss her brother or something? Isn't there, like, a weird relationship with her brother? His name is um, uh, Lincoln uh, something, okay? It's a, uh, it's a name, but they did music together. I think he helps or produces her shit. He's got his own singing crap that hasn't taken off. Passion. Living in the shadow of Billie Eilish. Eyelash. I don't know. Passion, dude. Ooh. It's all about passion. What turns you on, though? Someone thinking I'm funny. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm out of here. She's about to shoot it. What if she spray in her fucking face with this uh, bottled water? What a scam. Someone laughing at my jokes. Yeah, same. If you make your sibling uh... Oh, God. Dude, I, I, the more I look at her, I'm like, what the fuck is all of this create? What in tarnation made this? This fucking doof doofus hairline. This is her hairline. It's about this long. Besides that, it goes all the way back. It's blank. There ain't no pores. These ears are exceptionally, you know, extended to the max. This is like the office. All I think about is the office right here. This is Pam or the British version of Pam. Yam or something. And this down here, I mean, this is, this is what I looked like back in the day. I had a dumb fucking chin like this when I was about 500 pounds as a kid. I know. <laughs> okay, we're getting out of there. That was um, Billy Elish coverage.